Welcome guys, my name's Nick, and this is another unboxing video. And I actually arranged all my unboxing videos into a series plays list as well. It's also a show now on YouTube, so you can either subscribe to this show or like the playlist. And yeah, so that's mainly, it's called Ninja Unboxings, mainly going to be focused on technology as well as video games, special editions and collector's editions of video games mainly. But today is actually a technology one and my gaming mouse actually died on me. I have been using a Cyborg Rat 7 now. I think it's made by Mad Cats. And it just is not performing up to snuff for a gaming mouse. Kind of like catches in certain areas and if I hit it a couple times, it starts working again. And that's really not something that you want to uh, be doing when you're trying to play a first person shooter on a PC or anything like that. So today we are unboxing the Razer Mamba 2012 ergonomic, uh, ergonomic gaming mouse. Uh, it is a 4G mouse as you can see. It has a dual sis, uh, sensor system. Uh, this mouse as well as some of the Razer mouses which means uh, it has a laser, uh, laser sensor as well as an optical sensor and it has 6400 uh, dpi or dots per inch which is pretty good for a gaming mouse i think the razer death adder has a dpi of about 3500 so almost almost double that but this is razer's uh, flagship mouse uh, so that means it is a little bit pricey at 130 dollars but uh it's a gaming mouse and apparently it's pretty sweet so let's take her take it let's open it and take a look see and this video will be broken up in two parts. Uh, the first part being the unboxing. As you can see, nothing in there. The bottom, Windows 7 compatible and Mac la 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 for gaming compatible as well. I don't know why you'd be using a gaming mouse on a Mac, but yeah. And as you can see right here, it is welcome to the cult of laser. So right there in the box. So let's take a look-see here. It's pretty, uh, Oh, this comes out. Pretty extravagant cake boxes for uh, boxing for a mouse, and most likely these are the Razer stickers that you get with every single Razer product. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, the user manuals, the guides, uh, and the little blurb from the company. So I'll leave those out for you. That was located on the front panel. That's not very exciting, so maybe I'll just put that underneath. And we got more stuff underneath here. I'm assuming this is the charge station. And it's kind of weird because this is Razer's flagship mouse, but it's actually a wireless mouse, which is not really that uh, indicative of PC gaming mouse. Mostly PC gamers like their wired mouse better just because they think that there's that millisecond of an edge it'll give them. But here we go, this is the charging cable that is powered via USB by the looks of it. Uh, that probably charges into this station right here to charge the mouse. And I'm assuming they'll give you two batteries, or this might be the, oh no, it goes in there. There we go. Okay, there's the charging station. And I'm assuming this is the extra battery that you'll get. Uh, Razer estimates that yeah, you get two batteries with the with the mouse itself, one for charging and one for that will actually go into the mouse. And Razer claims that each battery has a lifespan of about 16 hours, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Actually, no, this is just the cover for the back of the mouse as well. Here's the battery. So, hopefully they do provide an extra battery because that would be quite unfortunate if it didn't come with one. But that's pretty much for, that's all in the case, so let's actually get the mouse out now. And the main reason that I wanted to grab this mouse is <laughs> it actually has a multi-lighting feature as well with it. Uh, meaning that it doesn't glow the standard green. Oh, well, it does glow the standard green, but also you can change it to various other colors. And my PC kind of has like a red theme going on, which I'll show you guys in a second. So yeah, there is the mouse itself. Let's see if we can pull it out of here without breaking it. Oh, there's a pull tab at the back. 
Hopefully I do not break anything. Just trying to be careful with this. Oh, there you go. And we've got to pull this out by the looks of it. Oh, there we are. And then I guess we pull this tab out. Oh, I, oh, I see. That's for the actual, uh, so you can pull out the battery quicker. So let's get this battery popped in and see what we can do. So here we are. Usually they only do one thing, one, usually batteries only go one way in, in, so if it's not fitting, don't force it in. Lesson in life for you there. There, there you go. Batteries in. But yeah, after we get this unboxed, I will play around with it a bit and play a couple games, some Battlefield, some Amnesia, some Postal, and all that kind of stuff, and I'll give you guys my review of it. Once we get this thing in, this is why I'm boxing live sometimes run into issues. What the heck? Okay, it did go this way. Get that in there. There we are. Oh, and it feels very nice. Like I said, this is the 2012 ergonomic version, and we'll turn this on right here. As you can see, the power is kind of low, and right now it is set on blue. Let's see if I can get it to get a different color. Oh no, it's fully charged now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> But anyways, uh, that's it for the unboxing. Uh, when I come back, I will actually do my review on it once I figure out how to change its colors as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so as you can tell, we are at my desk right now. And this is the mouses side by side. We have the Razer Mamba right beside my old Cyborg Rat 7. And as you can tell, you have two completely different design styles. The more conservative approach of the Mamba and the uh, kind of out there, probably the craziest most you're going to see, uh, the Cyborg Rat 7 by Mad Cats. And on to the overall performance. Uh, they perform pretty much on par with each other in terms of precision and feel. Aesthetically, uh, they obviously look different and they actually feel different when you place your hands on them for the very first time. So there are two main methods of holding a mouse. Uh, there are a bunch of ones in between. But the two main methods are the claw version, where you hold your mouse like this and your palm does not rest on the mouse at all. The benefits to using it this way is that you get extra precision, which is really important in games such as first person shooters. But the downside is that you get more fatigued earlier, especially at the wrist. So I generally, uh, what I do is I kind of use a hybrid, I kind of rest a little bit on the back of the end of the mouse and claw just a tiny bit. But as you can tell, even if I try to palm it completely, I don't know if you can see from this angle, there's still a little bit of a gap right there, if you can see light through right there or not. That's mainly created by this little gap right here from extending the palm a little bit further back to meet the comforts of my hand as well as this gap right here. Whereas if you rest your hand completely on the Razer Mamba, uh, the gap completely disappears. So, yeah. Um, the benefits of using a palm grip is that you just get less fatigued, you, so your gaming sessions can be a lot longer, but the downside is you sacrifice a little bit of precision. So uh, I tend to use a kind of like a hybrid method between both. I don't do a complete palm, and I don't do a complete claw, so it's kind of weird. This is pretty much how I hold my mouse the entire time. There's a little bit of resting, but there's also a little bit of a claw action. But yeah. And uh, this is something that I didn't mention, well I got wrong in the beginning of the unboxing, is that you can actually use this a mouse in a wired sense. You can actually use it as a wired mouse, uh, which is a pretty big fact that I overlooked. This is kind of, I kind of bought this mouse on impulse. I didn't do any research into it, I just passed them. I'm like, okay, why not? So I bought it. So yeah, that cable, that cable that I showed you earlier plugs very neatly into the very bottom of the mouse and you can use it as a wired mouse. 
so you can take the battery out and not have to use it at all. But I find that without the battery in the mouse, the mouse actually becomes a, very, a little bit too light for my liking. So uh, even though you shouldn't just uh, put in the battery if you're not and con constantly charge it because you'll kill the battery life, I might do so, do so anyways just so I can get the extra weight of the uh, of the battery inside the mouse. Whereas with the Rat 7, you have a bunch of customizable options such as weights at the very bottom of it. I don't know if you can see it right there. As well, you can change the pinky the pinky uh, tip thing right there to where you rest your pinky and a bunch of all the other stuff. That This is a very high, highly customizable mouse and all the reviews I read on it were really good. I think I just got a bad one that just started dying a couple weeks ago. So um, it's well reviewed and I, it was very, very good and very, very comfortable for when I was using, using it. Performance wise, it's probably the same, about the same level as the Mamba. They just look completely different. <laughs> but uh, moving on to the software, uh, this is the software you download from uh, Razer site. So it has this, all the standard options as any other gaming mouse. You can assign special buttons, tweak the performance, crank it all the way up to 6400 DPI if you want, uh, which is pretty much insane. I keep mine about the max of the Razer Death Adder, around 3500 acceleration. And you could actually uh, calibrate the mouse to specific surfaces that it's standing on or resting on. I am using a Razer Vespula uh, mouse pad, mainly because I just need a mouse pad for my wrist to rest on because when I was kind of using my semi claw grip I was like cranking my wrist into my table and I was just getting really really tired really really quickly so apparently if you calibrate it you'll get a slight um, performance boost by calibrating it to specific per uh, surfaces but uh, moving on uh, there are profiles set to any game that you want if you prefer controls on one game over another uh, macros and lighting and power, and this is how you change the the backlight on the mouse. So on lighting, go to color. Uh, in Canada, color is spelled with a U. <laughs> and you have a whole range of colors you can choose from. Or you can set it to spectrum cycling, which allows you to, the mouse will actually cycle through the entire color wheel, basically. And you can reduce or increase the brightness of the mouse. Increasing it will obviously decrease its battery life. Uh, all the way up it says 7 hours and all the way down it is 12 hours. I don't know how where they get 16 hours from on the packaging. But yeah. Oh wait. Oh I see. Oh right here. If I crank. There's another brightness thing right here. I gotcha. So lighting and power management. Oh so this top bar is when it's plugged in and this bottom bar is when it's in wireless mode. So I see. I gotcha. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. So sleep mode for when the mouse to power down to conserve battery life and flash when the indicator flash indicator when the battery gets to a certain point. So yeah, uh, that is what it looks like in wired mode. I guess I'll give you the final look of what it looks like uh, in wireless mode. Once again, um, I probably most likely I like put this down for a second. There you go, it took a while, but I eventually got it. It's hard to do things with one hand. But that is what it looks like when the plug is once again in the charging dock and the mouse fits very neatly onto it. See those two little dots right beside the sight? They go on and it magnetically sticks on right there. But yeah, that has been my unboxing and overview review of the Razer Mamba 2012 Ergonomic Gaming Mouse. Um, by Razer that is and like I said earlier I do have a pl playlist now for all these unboxings as well as the show so if you want to see more subscribe to the show or favorite the playlist and if you enjoyed the video uh, if you found it informative and in choosing what gaming mouse uh, is for you uh, please give the video a quick rating overall the Mamba is a really really good mouse you can, but the main selling point is the wireless but if you don't plan to use it all in the wireless mode then you might want to save yourself a little bit of money and go with a little bit more of a cheaper mouse. Like I said, unless you're planning to, you're really adamant like I am in getting the red color feature on the mouse, then you might want to go with uh, the more affordable Razer Death Adder, which uh, probably will, will, will be all you need anyways at 3400 DPI, because that's what I'm going to be setting this mouse at anyways. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And once again, if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a quick rating. And I'll see you guys next time for my next unboxing, either technology or maybe it'll be a video game. All right, have a fantastic day.